So guys, I'm here with Mr. Waterson. Uh, Mr. Waterson is one of the MF instructors at the Sunshine Coast and is uh, agreed to spend some time today just answering a few questions. So thanks for your time, Mr. Waterson. Um, no first no question problem. I've got for you is, is how long did it take you to achieve your black belt? And I guess what's a bit of a, a summary, I suppose, of your martial arts journey to date? Okay, so um, my, my martial arts journey personally started when I was um, about three or uh, about four or five. Um, I did traditional Taekwondo as a kid um, and went through and got my black belt in Taekwondo. Um, took me about 10 years, I suppose, um, over that period to get um, my, my black belt with uh, Taekwondo. Um, then I put my martial arts career on pause until my children started again, which rekindled my interest um, and I started with MF and went from a uh, white belt through to a black belt again with MF. Um, it took me just over two years to, to, to get my black belt with MF. Um, I, I did get a little bit fast tracked through through some of it um, due to previous experience. So my, my journey was a little bit shorter than, than some of um, others out there, um, but I was definitely pushed to, um, every time I graded, that was for sure. They were yeah. definitely not- Put uh, four, four years worth of effort into two years. So it didn't- it Pretty took much. Took half yeah. the time, uh, but twice the effort. Oh, that's good. Yep. That's um, nice. So at that point, you know, I, I was training five days a week doing, you know, so it was lots of effort put in to, to compress it into a, a shorter period of time. Excellent, cool. And and over that time, I guess, in both journeys, um, probably different as a child compared to an adult, what's the biggest lesson that you've, you've said that you would say that you've learned along the way? Um, probably the, the biggest lesson that I, I think I've learned is um, persistence is key. It, it's something that just won't come to you. You can't just sit on the couch and earn your black belt. It, you have to want it and you've got to keep moving forward. It's, it's You've got to be persistent at it. Um, and even once you grab that black belt, it, it's the persistence of continuing on and, and the willingness to keep learning and improving, I think is probably the biggest thing that has um, struck me. Yep, fantastic. Um, and I guess in your experience personally as a student, but also as an instructor as well, what would you say is the best quality that a black belt needs to have or that someone needs to have in order to become a black belt? Uh, it, it's a hard one because I think we do all need to have... Um, a lot of different things that, that we look at a person and, and see. Um, but I think one of the, um, the, the, the most important things that, um, that I, I look for and that I see is, is that person is um, quite an honest and, and decent person. It, it's, you know, the, the, the honesty with themselves of, you know, and, and working of, you know, um, someone needs some help and, and they'll, put there it's that strange question a uh, strange but you know what i mean <laughs> a bit of a dichotomy is just that there isn't one thing like it not not yeah. one thing makes a black belt there is a collection of no, things that's definitely that's good. Not. You, you, yeah you, you've got to have a, a little repertoire of everything in there to, to yep. be a, an amazing good. black belt yeah great fantastic um, so like I said, you are an instructor and you do see lots of new students probably aging from, I imagine, three to 30 or 40 even. What's your, what's your biggest tip or your best tip for any student just getting started? Maybe they haven't started yet or, or they've just in that early part of their journey as a white belt. What's your best tip for them? Look, I think my best tip, again, is that persistence that um, we, we know um, we, we can see them starting and that we, they hit this deer and headlights look on their faces at times and they're thinking i'm never going to get this i'm never going to kick that high i'm never going to be able to do this i'm thing um and it's it's not an easy journey but if you persist at it and you you drive for it you you will succeed without a doubt so it's it's putting that foot forward and don't let go you you will get there yep yeah i think like we like we all say you know a black belt just a white belt that never gave up and that yeah represents that persistence That's definitely cool. Awesome. Um, and going to, to your own journey, what's the one thing, or if you can pick one thing, the one thing you wish you knew before you started about the journey, how, you know, whether it's how long it was going to take or how hard it was going to be, or one thing that just would have made your life a lot easier at the start. And I do appreciate that there's a lot that you do learn along the way, and that's part of the journey. But if there's one uh, thing that you could tell your, your former self, what would you think? Um that's a hard one i don't think i could list it at one i, I would love to have top, had that top three more. even if you had three 
top three crystal um, ball moments? Top three crystal ball moments. Wow. Um, it's hard. I've been thinking about this question, and and, it, and it's a hard one. Um, again, it, it does come back that you know you will get there. Um, don't don't quit. And it probably a, a weird and wonderful one as I literally hate jogging. Um, is I probably would have started my, my, my jogging career a little bit earlier yep. and um, sort of went, okay, yes, um, unfortunately, martial arts, we do have to be um, relatively quite fit um, and leaving that, that fitness until sort of, you know, a, a panel level, for example, is, is too late. You know, yep. w work on your fitness, work on your push-ups and work on everything from the word go yep. um, would probably be my biggest heads up. Right. So little, little and often rather than waiting till, till it's too late. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Especially awesome. for some of us that are, are past that um, 15 year olds, it definitely <laughs> would help. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say past your peak necessarily, but past the point of it being easy. Definitely. Yes. Not past your peak. I, I would probably say that, you know, um, when I, I'm training for my, my, my gradings and that I, I would be the fittest I've ever been in my life at, at my age. Um, so definitely it's never too late. Um, it just takes a bit longer. Takes a bit longer, that's right. You gotta be, be more aware of everything, I guess, good. Um, so what would you say is the biggest way that being a black belt has helped you outside of martial arts? So whether in, in your career or your, your family, your personal life, what's the, the biggest way that being a black belt or having a black belt mindset has helped you? Um, confidence. Um, I deal with lots of different people um, and lots of different businesses and lots of different, and, and having the confidence um, to speak to people and to approach people is, is definitely the, the biggest thing that I've, I've got from um, having a black belt attitude or a black belt mindset that, um, you know, that it's, you, you've got to have that confidence um, in everything, everyday life. Um, but that has definitely helped me with my business um, and in martial arts. Um, I know, you know, getting up and, and taking gradings is um, all the students are looking at there and they're nervous because they're looking at the grading examiners. Well, us four grading examiners are looking at it three and 400 students at times. It's, it's as nerve wracking for us, but um, it, it's that confidence that um, I think I've gotten from it um, and dealing with it that has definitely helped me through all aspects of my life. Fantastic. Cool. Um, so what would you say? I'm not going to limit you to one thing here. What would what would it uh, or what does it mean to you to have a black belt attitude? How would you describe a, a person with a black belt attitude? What would they do? What do they think? What what are they or who are they? Um, I think I think a person with a black belt attitude has that I'm going to get there. I, I'm I'm positive and I'm striving forward at all times in every aspect of their life. It's it's not the oh can I do it or oh I'm going maybe I'll get there. It's I'm getting there. I'm going to do it and I'm going to get there. If it's, you know, going for a jog, you know, it's like, um, uh, will I get a jog? Oh, will I get that? And it's like, no, I'm going to get there. And, and I think that's definitely one of the things that um, is helping and have that attitude of yes, not maybe. It's a, it's a yes attitude. I, I'm going to take that step forward and take on that challenge and not only complete it, but I'm going to smash it out and where's the next one? Awesome. And I guess a, a philosophical question to finish off, what would the world be like if everyone had the mindset of a black belt? Wow. Wouldn't that be an amazing place to, to have everybody with that sort of a, a positive attitude? Um, I don't know what it'd be like, but I really would love to see it. I think it would be an amazing attitude. And even if we can turn you know, a 50% of the world into a, into a black belt attitude would definitely be, be majorly helpful to this world. Um, you know, we, we see some of these children and students, are not students that are running around and you just think, well, maybe if they had a black belt attitude that, that they wouldn't be doing what they were doing and, and, you know, their world and the world that they're affecting on others would be a, a much better place. Mm, fantastic. Great answers. Excellent. Well, uh, that's the end of my question. So I just want to say thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Not a problem at all. Anytime. Awesome. Thank you.